against this, but every time I I decide to go to uh, the stoplight, I don't have a problem with giving my money, but I do have a problem with these people with these signs, homeless, and need money fast, and I look around, and I look up, and they're jumping in their cars, Mm-mm. or they live across the street in a house. Or how about how about they 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 dress better than you? And then you that, that's what I, 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 I was scared to say. I don't know how far you you want to go on the show, but I have a problem with that. Let me tell you for this. I'm talking about the church, right in one of my churches, I'm not gonna name mm-hmm. that woman's husband was standing outside with a sign, and I know he's a retired de- veteran. And I know he gets plenty of money between her working and him working, and they're standing outside with the sign talking about homeless. And then I call one of my friends. I called one of my friends at my church because I know she was related to the guy, to, to the mm-hmm. girl's, to the guy's wife. Right. And she said, I cannot believe that he was standing out there holding a sign talking about homeless. See, that's what makes me don't want to get my money. Because you don't know what, who's what. You don't know. Yeah, guy, that's right. You guy, don't know. You can't, you can't tell the real from the fake. You can't tell the real from the fake. And, and the guy, I know for a fact, I know where they lived. I know all of this. I know he has a car. I know he has it. He's sitting out there with a big sign. That's embarrassing. And not only that, that doesn't make you want to, don't want to give your money to nobody. That's true. And you, you and have to call like yourself a Christian. Like you said, it ain't just churches. Be, yeah. Call yourself a Christian, you sitting outside, you hold the sign, talking about, oh, wait a minute, now get this. One side says, uh, I'm a retired veteran, no money. The other side talking about, I don't have no, no kids, and my kids are hungry, so, and he flipped it over. <laughs> and I started to pull over, but let me shut up, because I started to pull over and let him have it. But you know I said? Every time I'm stopping there, I don't mind giving my money, but you don't, like you said, uh, you don't know the real from the fake. So and, can and I, my, can I, I ask think a question about that? Days and times, like, you know, I'm not, ain't nobody trying to get played. Now, in, in like, in these days and times, like, okay, it's hard enough for everybody. And, you know, like, every, even the people that's working, it's hard for people to make ends meet. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. If, if, I, if I decided I want to to be generous and, 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 and give my money, I don't want to be played. You know right, what I'm saying? Like right. you, I, I'm up mm-hmm. here struggling just like you. Why would you be out here doing that? Yeah, you know, and I do some of the exact same thing like she's talking about. I see, like here at our local Walmart, if somebody's going to be panhandling, that's where they're out there holding their side, the entrance and exit to Walmart. And I've seen them out there, and I've seen cars stop by and give these people food, give them sandwiches give them food, give them canned goods, and they'll take it and they nod their head and say thank you, and they turn around and they set it in a pile, and they got this pile of stuff there, and they're still stand. then they turn right back around and get out there by the road real quick <laughs> with that sign that says, hungry, need food and money. Wait, it's like, no. you just brought you a hot sandwich, you said you're Wait, hungry, but you got a stack of them over there and don't give it no. up. No, this is the No, this is the bit. I pulled up and one guy had a sign that says, hungry, horny, and need work. Horny. What? I said, horny. I said, what? And you know, some, some <laughs> guests with big old fat women going to be stopping. You need something because they're going to need something. Horny. Wow. Horny. Horny, dude. He's trying to get free. He trying to get a free sandwich and get a free some free say that on here. I said, no, but I'm serious. Yeah, I promise, horny. And you know somebody will stop and, you know, you need something. <laughs> I said, oh, hold up, honey. No. I said, honey, do you I never thought of putting a sign out so- for it. Hell. <laughs> I said, I said and ladies and gentlemen, that's just a joke, by the way. <laughs> I, got, I got some hot perch for you, baby. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I play perch, grill with some fried on side. Woo! Uh, <laughs> I was like, 
what in the world? What is this world coming to? Hey. I don't know what this world comes to, but it's bad. <laughs> That's bad. I, I mean, but they did like a, a, I think they did like a, a special like on Dateline or something uh-huh. about this girl in New York that did that stuff. And, baby, let me tell you, she came, when she left that corner, she walked on, baby, she had that act down pat. She was bent over that damn cane, walking down that street, got that can out. And then they, they, they followed her. And then at the end of the day, baby, she had she had it down to a sign, baby. She, she worked like a nine to five out in them street hustling. Uh, Tell me this about the girl. She went around that damn corner and got in that Escalade, baby. She whipped their hair out. Their hair went down her back. Baby, she wore some damn food, boot girl. She, you couldn't tell her nothing. She was going shopping in downtown New York, honey. No. And it's that same one, baby. She made hundreds of dollars a day. And they followed her, and they called her out. And she, she ain't had nothing to say. But, you know, I mean, but you know what was sad about it is that's just one of thousands and thousands and thousands of people that do that stuff daily. And you know in downtown Indianapolis, they, they cut out that panhandle, so the people are starting to move out towards the suburbs, and they're starting to get all, all these on these ramps and these freeways and stuff like that. That's I think that's man. that's right there. I don't want nobody walk my car. Mm. You know, I don't want like nobody walk my car. And I believe mm-hmm. I didn't mind giving it, but you know when I seen uh, that guy out there with that sign, I know he has a home and has a wife. You know what I'm saying? It's getting the income. It's just horrible. That's sad. Yeah. I mean, but my thing, this is what I'm saying though. Like, I'm scared to even stop and talk to these people today because people today are so ruthless and evil. You 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 stopping the thing that you helping them out? And they could be ready to rob you. And, but you want to give, and you, I mean, you got to be careful. You can't, you can't even help people out on the side of the road. It's sad that you want to help them out, but it's just like you don't know what people got up their sleeves these days. And I'm sorry, at the end of the day, you really got to look out for yourself. You got to look out for yourself. And on that note, this is my little public safety announcement on that one. If you see someone that's broke down and you do want to try and help them, just contact your local law enforcement agency and let them go check it out. Oh, okay. That's that's the appropriate way to handle that. (laughs) Now, of course, if you see the 85-year-old lady over there broke on the side road, maybe you might want to stop and check in on her. However... Mm -hmm. Don't forget, if someone is suffering from Alzheimer's, they can screw your world up. <laughs> and she's like, with a full out front for you. You Give never know. <laughs> break yourself, right, You don't know if she was on her way to eat. She could have been on her way to school the damn deep. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all sitting up here going still far from that old head. Oh, I'm gonna stop. Let me let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all, and, and I'm telling everybody that's in the listening audience. If you still want to call in, you got a little time. Six four six nine one five nine one five eighty two hundred. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all better stop feeling sorry for these old haggly ass women and these old men. Because I'm telling you this now. Just because you get old, don't mean you lose your sex appetite or your desire to get your freak on. Y'all been start still start for these old ass people because honey, them gonna be that main ones that put that old stanky cat on your man and turn oh your man God. out. I said they got stuff out here that make these people turn into Superman and Superwoman, and y'all want to sit up here and still start for these old ass people. Uh uh-uh, uh, ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing changed except they age. 